some of you won't make it. Some of you will be cast into a lake of fire. Why do I say that? Because some of you have already hardened your heart. When everybody else has turned their back to you, God says, I'm here. The Bible says, no, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. You know what troubles me is the fact that a basketball player died. Hallelujah. A basketball player died and, and the whole world stopped just to honor Kobe Bryant. They stopped the entire world. But many people looked up to this man who they call a basketball player shooting into the net. But little do they know that he is just a man. And like I tell you today, the Bible says, For once it's appointed unto man to die, then comes the judgment. That's why I have come to warn you. Come to tell you that they were wondering about Jesus in the Bible, they said, you know, are you going to kill yourself? He said, no, my time hasn't come, but for you, any time will do. You know, if someone came into this area and started shooting everywhere, people will run. Why would they run? Because they're running for their lives. They want to live. Everybody in this area wants to live. You want to see tomorrow. You want to see the next day. You know what's funny about this spot that I picked? You know, I was led to Wood Avenue and Elizabeth Avenue, right here on the corner. And it's just, it's just not any, any spot. This is a spot that has spiritual wickedness right here. Right in this city, all across this city, demons, devils, running around, possessing people. The devil has people more concerned about their flesh rather than their eternity. They don't think about their eternity. They wake up and they don't even thank God for a new day. They just go about their life. As if everything is fine and normal. Who told you you are going to live tomorrow? Who told you you're going to have the next five minutes? Who told you you're going to live to see your next birthday? Tell me, who told you this? Nobody did. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have today is not only a blessing, but also a curse. Why do I mention the word curse? Because you were born in sin. I was born in sin. So you see, what God is offering each and every one of you today is eternity with Him. Because we were born in sin, now we have a choice to make, a choice to live, or a choice to die. That's the reason why there's so much happening right now. It's because Satan does not want you to know the truth. He wants you to continue in drugs, in addiction, in the fornication. The idolatry, the adultery, the homosexuality. He wants you to continue to practice these things. And why does he want you to continue to practice such lifestyles? Well, because it will lead you to the lake of fire. It will lead you to hell.